hey guys welcome to another episode of the flavors cooking series today i'm going to be showing you how to cook cabbage egusi actually cabbage is one of the healthiest vegetable in cameroon today i'm going to be showing you how to combine cabbage and egusi and cook them together you understand what i mean guys okay so let's go right into the cooking action guys for those of you who don't know how the vegetable cabbage looks like this is it this is how it looks like and this is how it looks like when being chopped or sliced what you need to do is to add some quantity of salt and begin to massage with your hands massage the vegetable until it reduces it reduces in quantity and releases water by itself then add a great quantity of clean water into the vegetable this water will help to reduce the salt which was added to wash the vegetable with and also remove any dirt which is found on the vegetable rinse the vegetable thoroughly and squeeze out all of the water in it squeeze out the water and set aside Now you see my vegetable looking all lushy. I have my seasoning cubes, my grind egusi, my chopped tomatoes, grind squash bonnet pepper, grind garlic, some chopped onions and some salt. I also have the kanda here guys. I don't know any other name apart from this name kanda. If anyone's or you know any other name which this is called, please leave a comment on the comment box down below, okay? Season your kanda with some salt and seasoning cubes, some chopped onions, and some water. Allow the pot to cook until all the water dries out to ensure that the kanda is soft then add some vegetable oil and some chopped onions then give it a stir for everything to fry in Once the kanda and the onions is fried a little, add your chopped tomatoes. Give it a stir again. Then add your grind garlic. Give it a stir guys. Allow your tomato to cook for 10 minutes then add in You are crying and you see. Mix it together. Mix it with the tomato sauce together. Add to your grind scotch bonnet pepper and mix again. Allow the pot to cook for about 30 minutes and add your seasoning cubes guys no more salt okay because we've seasoned the kanda with some salt once the egusi is cooked for 30 minutes transfer all of the vegetable into the egusi sauce And give it a good stir for everything to combine you see how it looks guys looking so lushy i am salivating already wow wow our cabbage egusi is ready you can serve this with some boiled ripe plantain and enjoy
thanks for watching guys see you next time with another mouth watching and flavors recipe please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get instantly notified whenever i upload a new video